morning, everyone. I'm Superintendent Kathleen Smith, and welcome to our annual spelling bee. We are so proud of having the opportunity to speak to your our children, our students, briefly. I told them, and I know you'll all join me, that they are certainly all winners in their own right. Um, would ask them to enjoy the day because it is very special that in a school district of over 17,000 students with competitions going on for our middle school students and some of our elementary grades, that these students are tops in their school. So let's give them a round of applause. So again, on behalf of myself, the Brockton Public Schools, Deputy Superintendent Mike Thomas, soon to be your new interim superintendent. So we're very pleased to welcome you to a new setting. Now, Eileen McQuaid just said to me it was MCAS 2, no, excuse me, Spelling Bee 2.0. And the reason I say that is those of you who had probably been here before, um, we actually held it at the Little Red Schoolhouse, which is on the grounds of Brockton High School. It is a wonderful historic site. We love being able to showcase that, and we as a school district need to think of ways to be able to bring young people in and families in to showcase what school was like many, many years ago. The benches that the you know, students sat on, um, you know, just, just so many historical things in that building. But we honestly felt that when you look at, and I'm sure a number of you have seen the National Spelling Bee, by the time you become a national winner, you are on a stage in a large auditorium. This is obviously a little bit smaller in the perfect kind of location because what we found was it was very difficult to hear the students. It was difficult to hear the pronunciations with the words. And students have spent hours, whether it's studying and competing, and we want to honor that and put them in the best position possible so you can enjoy it as parents and we, whether we be judges or moderators, also can be part of a process that we think is fair. So I hope you understand that's what we're doing. We're thrilled to be able to offer wonderful plaques for the winners, ribbons, and something very, very special at the end for all our recipients. Um, there will be a gift card to go to Dairy Queen. So we're really excited to be here this morning. And I believe I'm going to be turning it over to uh, Margo Masson, who is our present director of community schools and the former principal at the Brookfield Elementary School. And she'll go over the rules. And I also want to thank Dr. Julian Andrade, uh, Eileen McQuaid, um, associate principal, our teachers that are here today. And we do have uh, our judges, uh, Counselor Susan Castro. We have Councilor Shirley Azak and School Committee uh, woman uh, Joyce Azak joining us as judges today. So Margo will explain the rules and the roles and good luck and you'll be terrific. Thank you. Welcome um, boys and girls and parents, um, everyone here, parents you should be very proud of your um, sons and daughters. They've done an amazing job just to get here today. I congratulate all of them. I would like to start by asking all parents just to please make sure your cell phones are turned off. We do want to make sure we don't get any interruptions in the middle of the spelling bee. Thank you. Um, I just want to welcome everyone. This, the spelling bee here in Brockton is a long-standing tradition. And like the Superintendent Smith said earlier, we're into a new era where we're having it our spelling bee 2.0. Um, we're much more comfortable actually here than we are, even though there's so much tradition in the little red schoolhouse. We're lucky to have um, a new and upgraded um, place to have our spelling bee. Um, we went over the rules with our students in the back. So just one last chance for the kids. Are there any questions? Okay. Let the bee begin. Let the bee begin, boys and girls. Marco, do you want to share with the parents the rules? So everybody yeah, sure. Has sure. Yeah. So that doesn't happen. Okay, thank you. We'll introduce the kids to it. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna we will be introducing all the um, boys and girls in a minute, but I'm gonna let the parents know what the rules are and everyone in the audience. So I'm going to say the word. The um, contestant will repeat the word, spell the word, and say the word a second time. 
once they've said the word a second time, the turn is over, and we will let them know if the word was correctly spelled or miscorrectly, or was not correctly spelled. Um, before they say the word the second time, they have the option of going back and asking to start over to, re, um, to do the spelling again. So their turn is not officially over until they have said the word, spelt the word, and said the word. Before their turn also is over, a contestant can ask for the definition of a word, and they can ask for the word to be used in a sentence. Um, upon missing the spelling of the word, the contestant immediately drops out of the contest and the same word will be given to the next contestant. If all remaining contestants are eliminated on the same word, all those contestants will be invited back up and we will move on to the next word. The winner will be declared when the last remaining contestant correctly spells the word that was missed by the previous contestant and then an additional word. If the contestant misses the additional word, then the previous contestant or contestants that misspelled the last word will be invited back up and we will move on to the next word. Decision is final of the judges in all circumstances. And our judges are over here to the left of me. Any questions on any of the words? Thank you. I would like to introduce all of our contestants. Matthew Turco from the Ashfield School. And parents, we do ask that you give your round of applause now because once we have our spelling bee, we ask you to save your applause until the very end and not in between each spelling of the word. Next is Lisandro Lopes de Afonseca from the Davis School. <laughs> Steven Diaz Tavares from East. Silas J. Barbosa from East. Kamani Kenny Anderson from North. Tamari and Terry from North. Peter Joseph Johnson from Clough. Jane Lou from Clough. Miriam Paris Andrade from South. Oh, I'm sorry, Miriam is not here today. Sorry. Jamail Evans from Trinity. And twin brother Jalen Evans from Trinity. Andrea Xavier Moreno from West. And those are all of our contestants here today. And parents, um, just so everybody knows, we do have a few students that are not here. If they show up before I am done with the first round, they will be allowed into the competition. But once we have gone through the first round, if we have anyone arriving late, they will not be allowed into the comp um, competition. Okay? Boys and girls, are we ready? Take a deep breath and relax. Remember, you should be proud to be here. We are proud of you. You're already a winner. And have a fun, have a, make a fun time of this. You should be proud of yourselves. Okay. First contestant, Matthew. We will be going right down um, the line. Confidential. Can I have a sentence, please? He dropped his voice to a confidential whisper. Confidential. C-O-N-F-I-D-E-N-T-A-L. Confidential. That is incorrect. Lisandro? Confidential. Conf 
confidential. C O N F I D E N T I A L. Confidential. That is correct. Stephen? Tortoise. Can you use that in a sentence, please? Yes. I am a real tortoise when I need to get out of bed in the morning. Tortoise. T O R T I O U S E. Tortoise. That is incorrect. Silas. Tortoise. Tortoise. T O R T U S. Tortoise. T O R T U S I E. Tortoise. That is incorrect. Thank you. It was just in the apartment. Come on. Tortoise. Can you use it in a sentence? I am a real tortoise when I need to get out of bed in the morning. Can you say the definition? The definition is something slow moving. Tortoise. T O R T O I C E. Tortoise. That is incorrect. Tamaria? It's tortoise? Tortoise. Okay. Tortoise. T O R F. Can we start, please? Yes. Tortoise. T O R T. I O U S. Tortoise. That is incorrect. Peter. The word is tortoise. Uh, tortoise. Uh, T O R T. O I S E tortoise. That is correct. Jane. Raspberry. Raspberry. R A S P B E R R Y Raspberry. That is correct. Jamil. Hypocrisy. Hypocrisy. H Y P O. C R I S Y. Hypocrisy? That is correct. Jalen. Mechanical. Can I get a definition? Sure. Linked to, the mach to machinery or tools. Mechanical. M E C H A N I C A L. Mechanical. That is correct. Andrea. Particularly. Can you use it in a sentence, please? Yes. The vet veterinarian likes all the animals. 
but she is particularly fond of rabbits. Particularly. P A R T I C U L A R L Y, particularly. That is correct. Peter. Nope, it goes hmm? to the second row. Oh, I am so sorry. Yes. Lisandro. <laughs> Proportion. Proportion. P R O P O T I O N. Proportion. That is incorrect. Peter. Proportion. Uh, proportion. Um, P R O P O R T I O N. Proportion. That is correct. Jane. Britain. Could you use it in a sentence, please? Yes. The United Kingdom consists of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. Britain, B, wait, can we start over? Yes. Britain, capital B? Sure. R, I, T, A, I, N, Britain. That is correct. Jamil? Continuous. Can you use in a sentence? Yes. Going on and on without interruption. Continuous. Continu oh, I'm sorry, I gave that, you the definition. That was it. Would you like it in a sentence? Yes. Sentence, sorry. It's okay. Um, Be go ahead. Because of the water leak, a continuous stream sprayed out of the ground for hours. Continuous. See? O N T I N U O U S continuous. Correct. Jalen. Employee. Can can I have a definition? A worker. Employee. E M P L O Y E E employee. That is correct. Andrea. Graduate. Can you use it in a sentence, please? Yes. Actually, graduate. He will graduate from Brockton High School in June. Graduate. G R. A D U A T E graduate. Correct. <clears throat> Peter. Scholarship. Scholarship. S C H O L A R S H I P scholarship. That is correct. Jane. Removal. Can I have the definition, please? Taking something away. Removal. R E M O V A L. Removal. That is correct. Substantial. I get a definition. Something greater than normal. Substantial. <clears throat> Substantial. S U B S T A N T I A L. Substantial. That is correct. 
Jamie. Liveliness. Go okay, I get a definition. Yes. Energetic, active, outgoing. Right, can you use it in a sentence? Yes. Playing and laughing, the children's liveliness filled the whole room. Liveliness. L I V E L I N E S S. Liveliness. That is correct. Andrea. Orchestra. Or orchestra. O R C H E S T R A. Orchestra. That is correct. Peter. Primitive. Primitive. P R I M I T I V E. Primitive. That is correct. Jane. Noticeable. Noticeable. N O T I C A B L E noticeable. That is incorrect. Jamil. Noticeable. Noticeable. N O T I C E A B L E noticeable. That is correct. Jamil. Jalen. 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 Oh, I'm so sorry. That's okay. I was crossing my hands. Jalen. Conception. Conception. C O N C E P T I O N. Conception. That is correct. Andrea. Efficiency. Can you use it in a sentence? Yes. We can increase fuel efficiency by carpooling or walking. Efficiency. E F F I C E N C Y efficiency. That is incorrect. Peter. Efficiency. Um, could I have a definition, please? Proficient. Efficiency. Um, e F F I C I E N. C Y efficiency. That is correct. Jamil. Glorious. Can I get a definition? Magnificent. Wonderful. Glorious. G L O R I O U S. Glorious. That is correct. Commissioner. Can I get a definition? Yes, a person appointed by a commission. Commissioner. C O M M I S S I O N E R Commissioner. That is correct. Peter. 
suppress. Suppress. S U P P R E. Could I start over? Yes, you may. Suppress. S U P P R E S S. Suppress. That is correct. Jimmy on. Similar. Can I get a definition? Alike or close to the same. Can you use in the sentence? While the two brothers are not identical twins, <laughs> they are similar in looks and personality. Similar. <coughs> similar. S I M I L A R. Similar? That is correct. And you're very similar. <laughs> Vacancies. Can I get a definition? Openings or opportunities? Can I, can I get in a sentence? There are no apartment vacancies, so we will need to stay with my parents for a bit longer. Can, I, can you repeat the word? Vacancies. Vacancies. V A C A N C I E S. Vacancies. That is correct. Peter. Occurrence. Occurrence. O C C U R E N C E occurrence? That is incorrect. Jamil. Occurrence. Can I can I can you use it in a sentence? Yes. After hearing about the ghostly occurrence at the hotel, I decided to seek lodging elsewhere. Can I get the definition? The frequency by which something happens. Occurrence. O C C U R R E N C E occurrence. That is correct. Jalen, precede. Can I get it? A definition. To occur before something else. Can I get in a sentence? Sometimes a tingling in the arm will precede a heart attack. Precede. P R E C E D E. Precede. That is correct. Jamil. Insurance. Can I get a definition? A company that guarantees compensation for loss, damage, or illness in return for a premium. Can you use it in a sentence? The company provided medical and dental insurance for its employees. Insurance. I N S U R A N C E. Insurance? That is correct. Jane. Perspiration. Can I get a definition? Salty, watery fluid secreted by sweat glands. Can I get in a sentence? 
Before showering, I like to work out until I feel perspiration on my face. Perspiration. P E R S P I R A T I O N. Perspiration. That is correct. Disgusted. Can you use it in a sentence? When he missed the catch, <coughs> he felt disgusted with himself. Disgusted. D I S G U S T E D. Disgusted. That is correct. Jamie. Financier. Um, can I get a definition? Someone who manages money matters. Can I get a sentence? The financier balanced the bank and loans finances. Can you repeat the word? Financier. Financier. F I N A N C I E U R. Financier. That is incorrect. Jamil. Financier. Financier. F I N. Can I start over? Yes, you may. Financier. F I N A. N C E I R financier. That is incorrect. We will move on to the next word. Characteristic. Can I get a definition? Distinguishing quality. Can I get in a sentence? The only characteristic Billy got from his father was his dark eyes. Characteristic. C H A R I got start over. Yes, you may. Characteristic C H A R A C T E R I S T I C characteristic. That is correct. Description. Can I get a definition? Pictured in words. Can you use it in a sentence? The detailed description of the product was listed incorrectly on the label. Description. D E S C R I P T I O N description. That is correct. Receipt. Can I get a definition? Written acknowledgement of sums received. Receipt. R E C E I P T receipt. That is correct. Tremendous. Can I get a definition? Very large, wonderful. Tremendous. T R E M E N D O U S. Tremendous. That is correct. <coughs> Rhythm. Can I get a definition? Pattern of regular beat. Can I, I get in a sentence? You can identify the rhythm of your favorite song by the part of it you tap your fingers to it. Rhythm. R. Y. Can I start on? Yes, you may. Rhythm. R. 
Y T H M rhythm? That is incorrect. Rhythm. Rhythm. Can I, can I get it in a sentence, please? You can identify the rhythm of your favorite song by the part of it you tap your fingers to. Rhythm. R. Y. T. H. Y. M. Rhythm. That is incorrect. Precisely. Can I get a definition? Accurately. Can I, you, can you use in a sentence? It is not clear how precisely the accident happened. Precisely. P R E C I S E L Y. Precisely. That is correct. Incidentally. Can I get a definition? Happening along with something else. Can you use it in a sentence? Incidentally, <coughs> Annie is no longer returning my phone call since she owes me money. Can you repeat the word? Incidentally. Incidentally. I N C I D E N T A L L Y Incidentally? That is correct. Mutual. <coughs> mutual. M U T U A L. Mutual. That is correct. <coughs> Psychology. Can I get a definition? Science dealing with the mind and behavior. Can you use it in a sentence? Studying psychology helped me. I'm going to start over. Studying psychology helped the teacher better understand the minds of her students. Psychology. P-S-Y-C-H-O-L-O-G-Y. Psychology? That is correct. Readily. Can I get a definition? Willingly. Can you use a sentence? My empty stomach readily received the food I ate for lunch. Readily. R E A D I L Y. Readily. That is correct. Antarctica. Can you use it in a sentence? It is extremely cold in Antarctica. Antarctica, capital A, N, T, A, can I start over? Yes. Antarctica, capital A, N, T, A, R T I C A Antarctica. That is incorrect. Antarctica. Can you use the sentence? It is extremely cold in Antarctica. Antarctica. A. Can I start over? Yes, you may. Capital A N T A. R C T I C A Antarctica. That is correct.
We have one more word that you will need to spell correctly. The word is cylinder. Can I get a definition? A round figure with two flat ends that are parallel circles. Cylinder. C Y L I N D E R. Cylinder. That is correct. We have a winner. Boys and girls, you should all be very proud of just being here today. You did an amazing job. Okay, we have some ribbons and awards to give out. I'm going to start with, I'm sorry, who was, uh, with third place. Peter Joseph Johnson. Peter Joseph Johnson, third place. In second place is Jamil Evans. And our first place winner from Trinity is Jim is Jalen Evans. Yeah. Awesome. All of you are going to get a gift certificate to Dairy Queen. And it's going to be a beautiful day for an ice cream. <laughs> Enjoy.